Rick here at MathLite. I'm going to talk about uh, changing a mixed number to an improper fraction. And really, wh what I want to get to is when it's a negative quantity. So as we know, our students are pretty good, at least mine have been, uh, and this has been pretty much every class. They can take a mixed number and easily turn it into an improper fraction. Not a problem. They know to do 3 times 5 plus 2 and divide by 5. Not a problem. What is a problem, and if you've taught any amount of time, you know this, and that's when the quantity is negative, negative three and two-fifths. And if you taught any amount of time, you know that your students want to give you the answer of negative thirteen-fifths. Well, they're okay with their positives and negatives, and they can handle all that, but what they make a mistake on is they do negative three times five, negative fifteen plus two is a negative thirteen, divided by five, and they get negative thirteen divided by five. If you've been teaching any amount of time, you know that's exactly what the students do. And we want to prevent that. And, you know, we can remind them and remind them and remind them, or we can just give them a simple little tip that's going to help them to not miss the problem. And so the students of mine that take me up on the little tip and pay attention to detail and do this little tip, of course, never miss. Hey, maybe you do it already in your classroom. It's a little thing, but a lot of times little things mean a lot, as I often say. Um, so what I tell them to do is, if you have a negative, before you start converting, put everything in a parentheses and put the negative out front. Pretty simplistic, huh? Put everything in a parentheses and put the negative out front. Hey, what are they going to get now? 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17, divided by 5, negative 17 fifths. Bingo, right answer. Such a simple little thing. But I'll tell you, the students of mine that do that, they don't miss them. Students that don't, well, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Hey, just a simple tip, and that's what we're trying to do here at MathLite, is give you little tips and pointers and things to think about. By the way, feel free to share. Love to hear some of your tips. Love to get some feedback from you, and uh, love to hear some of the things that you do in your classroom, and maybe I can... Uh, do a blog about those in the future as well. Look, we're trying to provide uh, free resources for you. We also have other resources because we're here at MathLite and our mission is to try to be a help to you.